show you, I want to show you this new updated user interface. So as I just mentioned a couple of minutes ago, once you log into your Google Analytics account, you may see something that looks pretty much like this. So, so it's a new interface, has the new bells and whistles. Uh, starting from the top left of your screen, common questions. And this is something that even I make use of uh, on a regular basis, not in just this uh, dashboard, but also in the individual reports. So anytime you have a question about a particular report, or you're curious about how it's being calculated or what it's trying to tell you, uh, chances are somebody has already asked that question before. So what Google Analytics has done is compiled some of that information and has kind of served it up to you in this common questions area. So please be on the lookout for that and definitely make use of it. I know I do myself quite often. Um, so starting off to the right, uh, overview now, your Google Analytics account uh, is going to show what account you're in or what profile you're in. Notice to the very top right of the screen how it's showing uh, a date range of the last 30 days by default, and it automatically is comparing this particular dashboard to a date range before the 30-day period. So in this situation, I'm viewing October 6th to November 5th. Automatically, it's comparing September 4th to October 5th. And what it's comparing is the information that's found below that. So in this particular situation, I have one profile. I can see visits, average time on site, uh, completed goals, and then the column that's towards the right-hand side with the green up arrow, percent change. So that's what it's comparing over time. So I can get a very top-level view of what's happening with my profile or my profiles if I have access to multiple. That drop-down that's uh, above percent change and above the 0.08% completed goals, you can change that to say bounce rate or visits or average time on site, I believe are the four options. Uh, so again, it gives you a great way to, you don't even have to log into a profile or click into a profile, you're already getting some data, or some top level data, so you can get already an idea of kind of what's happening over a course of time. Below the date range, where the date range tool would normally be, you can change uh, what you're comparing to. So by default, when you log in, you'll see it selected to month. You can select day, so it can compare uh, the day to the day before, week, and of course, year, if you have that much data going on in your Google Analytics account. Once you click into your profile, you'll also see a new, a fresher uh, version of the Google Analytics interface. So they've sort of changed some colors and uh, made things a little neater and kind of spruced up the place a little bit. Uh, so what, the, what they've added, of course, is what we'll talk about today, uh, where the arrows are pointing, the advanced segments option, which are towards the right hand, upper right-hand side, and then also towards the bottom left is where you'll be able to access that. And right above the bottom left where it says advanced segments, custom reporting is the next thing that we'll be covering here today. Uh, notice how it has beta you know, right next to the names. So things are usually released from Google Analytics in a beta mode. So over one or two months or so, that message will disappear, and it'll be in the full mode. Notice also below what I was talking a little bit about earlier, uh, the help resources towards the bottom left of the screen about this report and common questions. So again, you know, make sure if you can use that or if you have some question or you know, just curious about what a report is trying to tell you, uh, feel free to click on that. That's a great resource. It pops open. doesn't even pop open a new window. It just uh, basically expands that current column, and it just gives you some in very, uh, very good information about that report. I know I use it all the time, like I just said. One, one update that sort of flew under the radar with advanced segmentation and motion charts being so popular was this trending graph options uh, update. So this is something that has already been enabled in all the accounts for a couple of months now, but um, I figured I'd mention it because I know a lot of folks aren't aware of this. So when you click on visits or the pages per visit button in the trending graph, which is where the arrow is pointing, you'll be able to get this drop down menu. Uh, notice there's three links towards the middle. You can view one metric, you can compare two metrics at the same time, or you can compare it to site for some of your content reports. So in this particular screenshot, I'm comparing two different metrics at the same time in my trending graph. I have visits represented by the blue bar, and then pages per visit represented by the uh, orange line in the trending graph. And you see also once I roll over my mouse with, it's onto any data point in that trending graph, I'll be able to see visits and pages per visit at the same time. So again, it gives you just a nice visualization, nice way to sort of combine two different metrics.